Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. My name is Emmanuel. And my name is Nicole. And today we're going to share our overall experience in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Yes. The flight in total, um, we flew from Maryland to DR. It was three hours um, and we flew with United. So it wasn't bad. Um, yeah. yeah, before we realized that we were there. <laughs> yeah, so after we got off the plane, we took a bus uh, and went straight to the immigration area. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't a lot, like it wasn't a long line or anything. No, not at all. We got in the line. The guy was just stamping everything in front of him. He wasn't really. He was playing music. He, he was, was like, in a he was in a world of himself. Let's let's just, keep it let's going. Let's keep it pushing. Let's, like you, everyone is here. To just Every, have no, fun. he was really vibing. He was vibing. Cause I mean, who goes to do anything but have fun? But I know, right? right? <laughs> so he was like, man, let's get, let's get you guys out of the door. Mm -hmm. and enjoy your day uh, in, in the DR. But yeah, it was a great experience too. The immigration was nothing crazy. Right. Um, you know, we, we got into the main airport. It was nice. People were playing drums, you know, local music. It was nice. It was fun. We went outside to wait for our uh, Uber. And then some taxi guys were hustling us down. We were saying, hey, man, come with us. Yeah. We'll, we'll take you. Prepare yourself that. for that. Yes. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. They will convince you that you need to ride with them specifically. They will. No. Yeah. They were telling me that, hey, like the, the Uber guys can't come to this area. You have to walk outside of the, I mean, the airport. And it was true. Yeah, mm, no, to that's an true, extent. basically. Um, but yeah, they would try to hustle it down to take their taxi, by the way. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. If you have arranged a transportation, just stick with that. You'll be fine. So just make sure that if you're booking an Uber from the airport in DR to wherever you're going to be staying, that you leave the arrival section and walk back to where they drop off for departures because that's where the Ubers are allowed to go. Yeah. Um, because if they want to enter into the arrival side, they have to actually pay a fee. So, yeah. which most of the time they don't. So. That this exactly. is what we were told. Um, this is what the hustlers were telling us. Not the hustlers. <laughs> yeah, they're just. This is really what it's. We don't know how true this is, but this is what they told us. Mm -hmm. So we eventually had to get to the departure side and take and catch our, our Uber, which was yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was like, like a maybe two, like a yeah two three minute it was, walk. It was nothing crazy. Um, the airport is only so big. Exactly. Exactly. So our Uber came. We got in the car. The guy was great. Um, we used like this tr Google Translate app to communicate with yeah. him. He was a great guy. He showed us places. Our Uber driver was very friendly. Yeah. Even if he, even though he didn't really speak English, um, he was very um, helpful with um, or very willing to use the translator app yeah. to speak with us. And he was saying that, like, you know, if we if we wanted him to take us anywhere else throughout the trip, he would be available. Yeah. Um, which I feel like, you know, probably most Uber drivers would do, um, just so that you can stick with them and give them business. But exactly. you know, most of the things to keep in mind when you book uh, excursions in DR, they come to you um, to pick you up for free. Well, it's not for free; it's included in your package yeah. where you pay. So just keep that in mind. You probably won't necessarily need a driver or anything like that. But yeah. Yeah. All right, one thing we learned when we got to DR was... Man. Bikes. They love their motorbikes. They love their bikes. Everywhere and everywhere you see a bike. Yeah. Moms on a bike. Uh, the teenagers on a bike. Yep. Fathers on a bike. Grown-up people on a bike. Old um, people on a bike. Everybody is on a bike in DR. Yeah. You definitely love it. I remember it. just zipping and zooming in, exactly. in that country. Exactly. Exactly. It was very fun. And I kid you not, I saw... In the back of my eyes, it was very, it was a split second, but I saw two of oh, this lady, right? And in front of the lady was like a kid. And behind the lady was another kid. And I saw her hand holding the kid behind, but the motor, that the bike was still going. So it, it means that the kid in front is really the one that's, that's like- Handling the, the direct, movement. Exactly, directing the bike and also pressing the forward and brakes <laughs> and everything. And the lady is holding Hold the child, child in the back. I kid you not, that's what I saw. Like, I didn't, I don't have enough, I don't have a video. Like, I don't know if you believe me or not, but I do not have a video. But it was crazy <laughs> when I saw that. I was like, is my, am I, is my eyes kidding me? <laughs> uh, but yeah, they love their bikes yeah. in DR. Um, another thing in DR is they love passing. Yeah. They pass all the time. I feel like that's, that's, that's the case in a lot of, like, um, other countries. That's yeah. not the U.S. They just... 
overtake people, cars. Crazy. They're passing when they can't see. They pass when they can't see. Like we even saw a car that、um, overtook a police car. Yes, we saw a car overtake a police car. I was like, no fear. What kind of country is this? No fear. <laughs> Who overtakes a police car? They say you're driving too slow, police exactly. man. Exactly. <laughs> Move over, police man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They they love their motorbikes. They love passing. They、yeah. don't have patience for nobody.、Uh, they go and go. I think your best bet would be to go around and like Uber or like hire、um, like a driver to drive you around、yeah. because、um, I would say the driving there is you know you got to be experienced probably. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's yeah. Don't don't drive. I would say do not drive. <laughs> Let someone else take care of the driving. Right. Just chill on your on your vacation. Uh, unless you feel like you have enough experience、yeah. to drive in a crazy world,、yeah. go go ahead.、Uh, but yeah, all right. Now let's talk about our excursions. So there's a lot to do in DR. A lot. There's a lot of things、yeah. that we could have done in DR, but we just did not have that much time to do everything. We were there for what, five days. We were there for five and days, and that wasn't even enough. It was not enough.、Um, our, the first thing we did, we went to a place called Monkeyland. It just had these cute monkeys,、uh, and it was just a great experience. We have a video about that, and you know, check it out on our YouTube channel.、Um, another place that we went was the boat experience. Yeah. The snorkeling plus parasailing.、Mm-hmm. We we're supposed to go parasailing. There's a story <laughs> behind that. As、you、well. Check out that video too. Check out that video.、Um, but、Crazy. yeah, it was a, like a basically the day a day on the water on a on a yacht.、Um, it was、yeah. really fun. Yeah, it, it was good, but it, you know, it was a. Big curveball, a curveball <laughs> that really definitely happened. Yeah, we ended up in the emergency room, which was kind of crazy. Not、Check、us,、out. not us, not us. Somebody did. Somebody did. Check out the video in our channel.、Uh, the, and the last excursion that we went on was it's like a five-one experience where we did a city tour.、Uh, we did a zipline, dune buggy, horseback riding, horseback riding, and then、uh, like a farm、one? tour, like a cow. Yeah, it was、tour. like a cow tour.、Uh, <laughs> Or、yeah. cocoa, whatever. That's how they say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think my favorite one out of all the excursions would have to be Monkeyland. Monkeyland was really Monkeyland and the boat trip. I felt like、okay. I just I had a lot of fun on that trip.、Gotcha. Met really cool people and like genuinely learned a lot about DR and like saw DR in a beautiful light. And so yeah, that was my favorite. Yeah,、um, I think my favorite out of all the things we did. Uh, you're not gonna like this, but I do love that doom buggy. That doom buggy was probably one of my highlights of the whole trip. I'm telling you, this man is doom buggy.、Um, yeah. So if I could pick the doom buggy and the zip line, and just exclude it from the rest of the trip, I'll make that my number one. Wow. And then I'll do the、um, the boat experience, the、okay. parasailing and snorkeling.、Okay. I'll do that second, and then the last one will be the monkey land. Not monkey land being last. I mean, it was a cute experience. I, you didn't not, come here for cute. I didn't come here for cute. I came here for fun. Exhilarating fun. That's what I came here. Okay, well.、Um, but yeah. I came here for cute, and <laughs> the monkeys were so cute. So. Yeah, these and a lot more things you can do in Dominican Republic. We use the app Viator for all our things that we did. Yeah.、Um, so definitely get on that app and just look at all the things we can definitely do in right, Dominican Republic. Right. There's a lot more to do. So in terms of safety in the Dominican Republic, I would say you know based off of our experience overall, it was quite safe. Yeah.、Um, we never felt threatened or like we never felt like you know anybody in any harm or anything like that. Yeah.、Um, in terms of like our belongings and things like that, we were very obviously like wise. I feel like you need to use wisdom when it comes to like safety anywhere in any country. True. Don't like leave your stuff everywhere unattended.、Um, like don't go out late, late late at night in suspicious areas. Don't ask for the you know for unsafe situations. For trouble, right. Right. But even on the resort, we still felt safe with all our, our things.、Um, everywhere we went, everyone was super friendly. Nobody、yeah. seemed like they wanted to harm us in any kind of way. And even when we went off the resort too, because we did both,、um, we felt very safe. Even with random strangers picking us up、yeah. to take us to excursions, I think that like one of the things that really helped me was like them confirming our name before we like got on the got in the car with、yeah. them, just to make sure that we were part of the excursion. That's right.、Um, Yeah, so I felt very safe, regardless.、Um, I mean, like regardless of where we went, I felt like overall it's a safe place. Yeah. And being black in DR, like it was actually a great experience. Yeah.、Um, no hints of racism anywhere. 
Uh, everyone was just really friendly. Everyone was treating us equal. Yeah. Um, we all had fun. Uh, it was definitely a great experience. No funny looks from locals, nothing like that. Um, it was definitely a great experience. Yeah. Um, so our overall experience of Punta Cana DR was great. Great. We what had, would you rate it out of 10? I think I would give it a solid 8 out of 10. This guy um, doesn't believe in 10 out of 10. I do not believe in 10 out of 10. I think I would give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs> I really do. I wouldn't say 10 out of 10. There were some things they thought about. Yeah. But it, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, I, I think it suits this trip very yeah. well. Yeah, it was definitely a great experience. The locals were friendly. Yes. Um, all the locals we met were friendly. Um, I, I, I actually, I remember when we were getting empanadas in one of our excursions, check out the video of uh, our 5-in-1 experience um, of the doom buggy and zipline and all that kind of craziness. Um, I was sitting, I was just waiting outside, taking videos of the locals, and this guy was coming, he had like a, a long sleeves and a tie on, and he was just walking, 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 walked up to me, and then he looked up at me, and then he looked back down, and looked up to me again, and he stretched out his hand, and he just shook my hand. And I shook back, I was like, yeah, yeah, hi, you know, kind of thing. Of course, we couldn't speak each other's language, we couldn't understand each other, <laughs> but we had a moment right there where he was like, I acknowledge you, you acknowledge me, kind of thing. Um, <laughs> and this is really the story of the locals. Everyone was really friendly. Very, very friendly. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, on the resorts, and actually everywhere you go, people are like, they're, they're not mean to, to tourists and anything like that. Like, right. they're very welcoming. Um, very inclusive, make you feel like, hey, like you want to get the experience too. Yeah. Very friendly. Um, and yeah, especially on our resort, I feel like the people on our resort were very, very friendly. Yep. So go make sure you check out Majestic Mirage when you go to DR. Yes, absolutely. So thank you so much for watching our overall experience in the Dominican Republic. Yes. We had so much fun and we hope that through our videos, you guys are also able to get a hint of what it's like to visit Dominican Republic. Um, go ahead, we have many other videos that um, regarding our trip. So go ahead and watch those as well. Get a feel for it and see if you want to visit DR. <laughs> Yes. Um, but yeah, just make if you have any questions or comments or concerns regarding the trip, go ahead and comment them below. Um, we'll be free and happy to answer all the questions. Um, yeah, so make sure you like this video if you liked what you saw, to share it with your friends and family, and making sure that you subscribe to us if you want to see more. We have much more in store for y'all. So, exactly. Yeah. All right, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And he said. Subscribe <laughs> to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell um, so you can get notified when we, we make post. Yeah, when we post new videos. Mm -hmm. All righty, so as we always say, remember to just stay.